Spike Lee's See You Yesterday on Netflix is so good. Great job, Spike. He is not the director of this movie. I am. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stefan Bristol. I am the co-writer and director of See You Yesterday. And I know some of y'all have been tweeting about the movie. And I'll be happy to uh, shed some light on the movie. Uh, this is a really cool tweet. Okay, Michael J. Fox in See You Yesterday is A plus casting and he's reading Butler's Kindred. I put the book in Michael J. Fox's hands because I want to celebrate um, Octavia and her work and, and her contributions to black novels and, and black soccer. Michael J. Fox being in the film is, is crazy because he was in the biggest franchise in modern day American cinema, uh, Back to the Future. And one of my executive producers said, hey, why not Michael J. Fox? I was like, you think we can get him? He said, sure, let's, let's write him a letter. And the letter, I, I told Michael what the film is about and how his role will be very important to reflect teachers in the classroom, to pay attention to black students who are brilliant because they're often over missed in the classroom. He didn't even read the script. He did it out of, um, out of love for the project. Shooting him that day was the best day of my life. <laughs> Yo, I fell out my chair when I read this. Miss Shonda Rhimes. Every black girl nerd, bone in my body, found in See You Yesterday on Netflix. I love you, black man. I mean, just so good. Oh my God, I love you, Shonda. I love you, black man. I love you, black woman. Um, I didn't think about that, those, that dialogue until like probably two days before we shot that scene. I love black people and I want black people to love each other. That's basically the reason why I have the dialogue there. And, we, and I hardly hear um, young people say that dialogue. Those images are very important of just, you know, embracing and saying I love you. And I want to challenge men. Tell another man, I love you, man. And I love you too. See You Yesterday on Netflix has given me a black girl from Brooklyn who's into science and using her brains to prevent police brutality. Oh, I stand. CJ spoke to me, you know what I'm saying? I think it's very powerful to have a, a black woman to be the lead that's into science. When I was writing the script, it was mostly Sebastian's story, but it, her voice just speaks to me oftentimes throughout the script. This is my story, this is my story. I think you need to pay attention to me. It's the black woman that fights for black men all the time, and they're always there for us. When I was making this movie, my mother, black woman, she's the one who fought for me to, to make sure I'm, I'm staying focused and I have what I need. She refinanced her home so I can do the short film. She helped me pay rent for a couple, for a couple of months so I could focus on the script for the feature. And it's always a black woman that 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 loves and cares for the black man. <sighs> All right, let's get to the ending. Oh God. <laughs> Has anyone watched See You Yesterday? If so, what do you think of the ending? My theory is that CJ went back in time to kill herself to save everyone else. That's a good interpretation. Another interpretation is that CJ goes back in time to save everybody and she wins the day. That ending is up for everyone's interpretation. But to have the ending wrapped up in a bow like that, it would, it would be an offensive oversimplification of, of why this movie's been made, of, 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 of a tragedy that's still happening today. And I refuse to simplify it. Explanation of the ending is basically, I want you to do something about it. You're pissed off that, that the movie ended that way? Well, I'm pissed off it's still happening. When CJ is running towards the camera, she's running to you to seek help. That's what she's doing. I'm challenging everybody who sees this film to actually get up from your couch and do something about it. The end! <laughs> I am Spike Lee's mentee. He's my Morehouse brother, and he's like a father figure to me. It's ridiculous. There's, there's a lot of amazing people that Spike put on in this industry. I hope one day I'm able to do the same thing um, that he has done for me.